Lab's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn city-wide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. All right, hello everyone, my name is Fossey, and today we're back in again in Bioshock 2. I was late this first, this is my second playthrough. So, in the first playthrough, the game crashed and the fight collapsed. So, I will let you know first, I don't care about any item in this part, I will care, only care about, uh, sorry. I will skip every item, alright? Because I already farm that. When I uh, finish playing through this part, I will skip, I will load the new game. I remember you, monster. You stole, stole Eleanor from, from me. me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even. I already, I already saved now, that now one, so I don't have trouble with it. Looking for me. me. Wrong, Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. Good thing that when I saved it. You from a street light I'm so freely up here today. Last. I want you to remember my face. It took me like... One hour and a half or two hours to let her that part and it's really broken. Christ like piss off. Oh, broken. Well sport, I guess Grace is home, but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. So, first. Like I said, I don't care about anything except story. I got the app. Someone sneaking up. Been waiting for a big one. Kill four seven. What do they expect? enough drug stash in this clinic to slice up a rhinoceros. Of course every poor soul in the drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. It seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl tighter. I'll use every single ammo I have because it won't matter the future. I don't have the same bit anyway. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie. Movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about it. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take him out on film. 
Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. Where that was anyway. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. Now, start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Look at you, Sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears... Here, Father. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. Let's get rid of this little sister first. Yesterday, heck, why? Network out of the way. Really nice. Daddy, you always save me from the monsters. I try to fix the crashing. I let it all let it. I hope it will work. I really do. Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. 
It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? It's newsman pay dirt. Sinclair says Ryan's making a move against Sophia Lamb, and they want to cut me in on the action. They're building a case that Lamb's a closet pinko, sort of an undercover thing. So I cozy up to this guy Wales, who works for Lamb, making like I want to join up. Then I find out whether he grew his beard for Jesus or Karl Marx. Okay. Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. No more little sister because I gotta make a land, baby. Here he comes. Get out of my way. Now Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. The baby snatchers headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. Some oof! Gracie's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. We both died tonight, monster. I, because you're... Kind has killing in its nature, and you, because there's no way the family will let you stroll out alive with that key. Okay, it's been 13 minutes. Here for. Very good. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child, and I tried, but baby Eleanor disappeared, and then one day, I see her walking with you, looking wrong, and when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down, broke my jaw, so I'm ready, baby snatcher, come on in and finish the job.
Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. To hell with you, then. Come on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirlybirds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. An autograph. <laughs> Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Hop on, kid, and start the train. Don't make me pull the whistle now. Next one will be harder because there's some more things to do. Okay, we are now complete the uh, one other part, 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 of part, half first part of where I played. We are on Silent Alley. And I won with Sam, no more. Well, except in the next part. Hear me, O oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God! Ye shall never reach her God! <laughs> Kid, come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft, and yet you cling to life. Congratulations. Today, Delta, 
you meet a man who has no fear of death. And for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. Beast of Out of the way. Gather the family. I think mother. Mother of mercy, I think that was Simon Wales. What's he done to himself? He and his brother were Rapture's architects, but when Doc Lamb came along, Simon got religion. He's got a kind of church down in the pumping station. Expect a reckoning when you arrive. Daniel, you and I drafted Rapture's blueprint together. Wales and Wales, architects. Do you remember? But Andrew Ryan led us astray, my brother turned us from the Almighty. Dr. Lamb offers you salvation, Daniel. I ask only for proof that the barest fit of faith remains in you. I left a gift for you at the Pink Pearl in your offices. Find the cool, my brother. We shall pray together for your sorry soul. I've got the maddening notion that I owe you my life, stranger. Such as it is, I'm sending you a care package to the new mall along the way. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Dr. Lamb. Phew, thank you. I would. among the ritziest lodgings in Rapture. But during the war, the residents put themselves up for sale. Daniel's office is on the top floor, I believe. Oh come on, the game crashes. Okay, let's try again. I'm so scared this crashes. The Pearl was among the ritziest lodgings in Rapture. But during the war, the residents put themselves up for sale. Daniel's office is on the top floor, I believe. Someone there? I really don't know how to fix fi the crashes. I'm so angry. Are the assignments? <laughs> well, here's me peace offering. Hey. Welcome to the second world. That has to be Daniel. Hunt him down and pin his ears back, kid. Oh, don't 
Okay, now we said. Not a pain in me head. At least time it wasn't from the whining of the horse. So naturally, I came up to my office to murder it with a drink. And there on me liquor rack is a bottle of sacramental wine from my dear brother Simon. And of course, the vintage date of the labor is the code to enter his territory. 1919. I should be pass his beaten wine through my system. Send it back warm. Yeah! I will say frequently as much as I can and hope that it won't break. Lord, what more I mean, do you the fire won't collapse. Your wretch of a servant waits for word. I have followed the letter of the Holy Mother Lamb, though she will not tell me the day of her return. I watched as you smote down the false father, Andrew Ryan. Who tempted us away from your radiant gaze. But you would not speak. Ah, now through this junction is the rest of the alley, including the very pumping station we are after. Father Wales has been recruiting holy rollers down there for lamb. stuck till the backups kick in. I'll help you hold them back. Check the new mode. Know this beast. Daniel's body may go cold, but his soul rests with the child of the lamb. You shall roast and blacken in the pit, and it'll be a grieving brother sent you there. Mom, just make it fast. Don't waste my time. But I know you will never do so. Just do whatever you want, I guess. Your sin itself marches to meet you, beast. And its name is Legion! Sport, I think you're closing in on Simon's underground temple. Now get down to pumping station number five and drain out the park here. Oxygen's running thin in this train car, and I'd sure hate to see our partnership cut short. Ask yourself, Delta. You who have suffered beyond measure at the hands of men like Ryan. What is the cost of paradise? to end pain, 
To end sin, what must we pay? Eleanor is my answer. Each of you know the child of the Lamb. Through Adam, our soul shall pass into her holy blood and will be reborn as a single immaculate body. It wears a hide of iron, and its hands are death and change. Oops. It wow, would man. seize the child from us, Four and with her, guess, paradise itself. It's fine. All Be right, a down. soldier of the ground or angel of the sky, you must stand fast and man. send it howling back to hell. I know you all too well. Want of child defines you. The biological loyalty turns us against the rest of the world, whom we ought to love in equal measure. Your poverty is testament to that, but your voice inspires the people. I am asking you to join a much larger family. Though your body failed you, you shall live on in us. <laughs> Again, 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 and again, and again. This might be the fourth project oh. I have ever done. <laughs> if it's back, it's fine. If it's uh, not fun or sorry, it's boring, it's fine. But this is the fourth. <laughs> That's what makes me die, okay. One thing though, once you transfer the suction to Dionysus Park, we've got a tiny window of opportunity to get you inside. I don't have much air left, but I'll hang in there. You make sure you're ready before you throw that switch. Do you think me a tyrant, Delta? Vying for control of a dead man's dream? The city is nothing. Rapture must die, so that Eleanor may rise from its body. Allow me to demonstrate. Lambs overloading the pumps. The place is coming down. Get to Dionysus Park! Subject Delta, I want you to commit this moment to memory for me. This howling, brutish slog through the dark. This is who we are. Get out of there, kid!
Look, Delta. It is the world for which you strive. You, alone among the dead. We done yet? Finally. Children, have you ever met the bogeyman before? No, of course you haven't, for you're much too good at. Okay, let's. Lord, where I stop that part? Children, have you ever met the bogeyman before? No, of course you haven't, for you're much too good, I'm sure. Don't you be afraid of him if he should visit you. He's a great big coward, so I'll tell you what to do. Okay. In the viewers part, I got many upgrades, so that is good. But yeah, I crash it. I know how to deal with you. Attention! Subject Delta has drained and infiltrated Dionysus Park. His death is our rebirth. The life of the people's daughter is in your hands. Well, I'm in. Yep, yours truly is the newest member of the Rapture family. I fed Wales a line about how the Tribune was stopping me from telling the people what's what. And without a word, he hands me an invite to this artist's retreat here at the park. Lamb bought my frustrated novelist act. She's even sponsored me to ink it while I'm here. Except my story's all about her. And I don't think she's gonna like the way it ends. What is that? We're gonna be rich! Oh my, yes. If you enjoy slime and muck, it's utterly divine. Yes, not a fucking time! Listen, Get princess, down. next time you eat out of the trash, I want You're you to right. think of me. Preservation! <laughs> Self-preservation! Nice. Art. 
the artist reflects the world as it ought to be, not as it is damned to be by some spasm of the lower mind. I shall not censor. The park is Lamb's property. However... Well, the good news is I've located a new train car. But the station's still locked down, and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. Okay. Oh, hello, boys. The name's Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. Quality paper. <laughs> Before the locals stopped reading and started finding, uh... Other uses for it. Anyway, I'm uh, looking to cut a deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. I found her. Found Cindy by this this rusted carousel. But she was just standing there, staring, waiting for the music. And she doesn't even recognize me. What have they done to her? Listen to her. The man in the moon is a girl, Mr. Bubbles. Listen, if anyone hears this, I have to know how to cure her. I... No! Get back! She's my little girl! Well, I think she's dead. By now. McDonough, listen. There's a hell of a structural flaw here in Dionysus Park. A leak in the primary drainage pipeline could flood this whole joint. Faulty pressure locks would seal in every sorry soul. One clumsy big daddy knocks open the wrong pipe and, hey presto, Lamb's little art show turns into Fish City. God forbid the wrong element finds out. Sounds very beautiful, right? Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. An experiment in social unity cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. Now that, see, Lamb knows you're here, but uh, I'm incognito. Thing is, since you drained out the park, the little sisters are already starting to uh, nose around, looking for Adam, and uh, I can't have that. Sally, if I Take lie this you. father and hurry. Mother can't hear this, but she's she's looking right at me. And her face. Sally, if I am lying you with this saving frequently, but there's nothing I can do. I already tie everything, I try to edit the file. Okay. It's not working.
Okay, so dead men tell no tales, right? <laughs> Wrong. See, with Adam involved, every stiff's got a story. And Lamb knows how to read it. If that stuff makes it back to her, I'm an obituary. So, I want you to take the story of Dionysus Park and bury it. Get rid of the little sisters for me. Your way. Do that, and I'll unlock the station here. <laughs> Scout's honor. Well, I'd say he's hiding something, but he sort of took the fun out of that one. He's locked in the security booth, however, so we'll have to play along. Find those sisters. Did you say so? I trust you, Sinka. Dr. Lamb's trying to take the city by sponsoring the artsy types here. The big thinkers to speak out against Ryan in their work. open to the public. Lamb ain't even charging for it. And then Rapture? <laughs> That's just brazen. Like some kind of naturist camp where everybody wears pulp hats <laughs> and nothing else. <laughs> Be long before Ryan's cronies can move in. I can finally stop holding my breath. Awareness of self is no miracle, Eleanor. It is a trick of the gene, an endless inner refrain asking, what's in it for me? To serve the world, we must grow deaf to the self. Are you ready? Now, stop listening to my voice. Stop listening. Stop. Difficult, isn't it? Human verbal cues are defensive coloration, camouflage. Play this recording until you no longer hear the words. Then you may observe the people for who they are. Shut down. Nice.
I wouldn't leave any of that. I was destroyed. Oh, I have learned my lesson in the first shop one. Hacking toilet. Oh, but let's look my health. Go, baby go. Smart. See? You put it to work and all that atom ends up in you. Help. But you're sort of a silent partner. So that's tops with me. Here's called a pass with bad. You need something. This is so not good. It's so terrible.
You mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no Adam for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks. Think that we were strangers a couple of nights ago? Red, I want a hold! Someone in the hall? Hand me that child! Now! <laughs> here. Normally, only a little sister can see them, but I can show you what Stanley is trying to hide. When Mother was taken away, Stanley was left in charge of Dionysus Park. He spent all her money through these mad parties. It was like he was trying to ruin her. I see. You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. is just a serial number, amigo. I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Real shame what they did to you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Adam is Rapture Delta, the finest minds of paradise in a single sublime mosaic, Eleanor. Consider the genius you deny her with every stolen drop. me there. I confronted Stanley. Said I'd tell mother what he had done. He panicked. Took me away and sold me to an orphanage. I tried to fight back. I remember biting his hand, but... Father, he's the reason I was turned into a little sister. I see. I see. Hi, Bill. Well, stop that. Don't worry. Stop it my way. Whether you would like it or not. Now, you were just a deep sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public gave it a nickname. But Ryan was sure you were a spook. So his people locked you up. Erased your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, Subject Delta. Johnny Topside. So, Ryan's goons are sweating me to prove this place is a closet commune. But I need time. When all this is over and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. 
think of it. Each world power on bended knee, holding a bouquet made of money. Sounds good. Sounds good. There she is. Little Tyke wants to be in pictures. <laughs> Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her. The girls you've saved from Mother want to thank you. Check the gatherer's garden. Okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> sisters are getting older, which is troubling. As they reach adolescence, they become aggressive, feral. Worse, the atom they ingest contains traces of lethal plasmids left over from the war. The splicers are becoming far more effective predators as well. Our big daddies are falling left and right. Perhaps, perhaps the elder sisters could be trained to sniff out the lost atom and reclaim it for us. Yes, from what I've seen, they certainly wouldn't have to wait for the culprit to die. So they turn to the big sister, I think. Ow. Oh, I see. It worked as same as the previous one.
and was like, hey, why is this, why is this a big loud step? And I was like, oh, I'm big. And that is where the loud comes from. <laughs> okay. This isn't the jungle. will become the daughter of the people, a true utopian, brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. to silence them all, and now he's trying to cover it up. I see. That's it! Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. But remember, if Lamb catches you, <laughs> mum's the word. Our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men that you are not to suffer. I accept full responsibility for any anger you may experience before you die. Doc Lamb's turning up the...
T, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Oh, yeah, but not that. Why is she so loud than it thought? That's now better. Subject Delta. I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here. And had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready! Just... Just let me live! This is not for me. This is for Eleanor. Oh, 
not for me. It's for my little Elena. You know it's what's wrong, but she'll still do it. No mercy for people like you, especially. Okay. Oh, good now. I'm gonna crash. This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. 
Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. This facility belongs to the city now, to Ryan Industries, at least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone. Lamb is gone. Close enough. I am alone at last. Alone with my city. I'm surprised that we are still in Fontaine for this day. No, that man is dead anyway. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. Mm -hmm. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Sure, I guess. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. Big Daddy myself. Eighty-five, I am. Serving, serving, serving. Coming out of town. Your fight. Great. Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Where's Tanner Bum in the way? Initiating Bioscan. Identifying clearance level. I, I identified clinical trial subject cla cla classification protector designation designation delta status dis dis deceased error updating status please -le -le stand by
Oh, come on! I had this. This is the worst project I have ever done. This crash so much. I hate it so much when the game crashes. I so hate it. I hope this project and Leo quick. Status updated. Status active. Welcome to the Welcome to the Welcome to the I never want any game project of YouTube project to be end this quick. But this is unacceptable. It's too much. Hello again. I I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself, ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. What? Whoa, what? Oh my freaking god. Delta. Status updated. Status. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know how to fake it. I wish I could fake it. Maybe she is very end fast. It's like shuffling here. Hello again. I, I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself, ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Password to enter. Agnes Day. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado. Please see password to enter. I warned you. <clears throat> when you're down in the mouth and life's a pain, where the man <sighs> says heavy rain, a little boost is all you need. Average Joe to Hercules, stronger arm and sharper brain. That's why the future is Fontaine. <laughs> Access de 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 denied. Please speak clearly. Automatic de deactivation for 60 seconds. Oh, he's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. I'm so not enjoying this. I mean, the story is good. I know the story is good. 
But the game, the game, man, it's bogging into pieces. I don't know why I crashed that frequently, but this is unacceptable. Yes. Congratulations, you've won a battle of wits with a home appliance. You heartless brute! How dare you! So much go on, I guess. Yep. This is Eleanor Lamb speaking. It's been many years since my last diary. Mother found a way to rehabilitate me psychologically, but she can't remove this. Thing inside my body. I look in the mirror and I see a freak. I remember very little. Just an artificial sense of peace and a compulsive hunger for Adam. Dr. Alexander is trying to help me adjust. He's responsible for part of my condition. Well, where do you come from? Don't worry, darling. They'll be back. And that it's child, you monster! Daddy dancing! I designed that device, Delta. You fumble at it like an amorous baboon! Oops. This is Eleanor Lamb speaking. It's been many years since my last diary. Mother found a way to rehabilitate me psychologically. But she can't remove this... this thing inside my body. I look in the mirror, and I see a freak. I remember very little. Just an artificial sense of peace and a compulsive hunger for Adam. Dr. Alexander is trying to help me adjust. He's responsible for part of my condition, but he wants to make amends. I 
you for long. <laughs> Okay, now I hope it doesn't crash again. I g do everything. I just change the uh, setting. What uh, Steam told me to. Steam company, do you mean? I will explore the time if it crash again. I literally just turn out the game like I open the game like four minutes and it crash. I'm sorry for these annoying things. There's nothing I can do. Just earned you another slap on the nose, boy! I'm not speaking to you. This can't be Anyone in the plasmid business ultimately. Don't you dare touch that signal relay, Delta! Its value is ten times your own! I'm very disappointed in you, Delta. Destruction of a Fontaine asset is punishable by summary dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 I had to let you go. <laughs> I'll bring my shawl. Time to let it go, get. The hounds. Someone must be on the property. I'm smarter than you.
Nothing, you rank amateur. How long before you botch the job? That will be fine for now. that the tyrant has no no friend no country only slaves chained in his wake to his fellows he asks of what use are you to me those who love him are his subjects, for the tyrant accepts only worship or fear. Where's that room again? I want some money. What? Sorry about that. A little problem. Just go get our money and we we'll get out of here. This video will be the worst video for sure.
every time Ryan turns up the heat, I know I'm a little bit closer to beating him at his own game. Each new tyrant ventured here in search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? Where are oh, heavens? My. Ah! My. calls everything into question. Even as I recall this, I can scarcely believe. Psychiatry has been my continual study to chart consciousness in all its strata. But intelligence does not require introspection. The son of Ryan was more effective than all his self-aware rivals. He lived without questions. I could end the self and save the world. Five two five four. Five two five four. Our hope was to bond a little sister to a single protector, so she had to be expendable in case of error. As we were fabricating a father bond, we couldn't really afford to have the girl's parents asking around. So, Fontaine's orphanage is provided, and the procedure was an unprecedented success. If I had only known who the child was, Eleanor, I'm so sorry. Not good.
That's not me. That's not on me. Three prizes, guys. Ah, ah, three. Ah. Adam Delta. One little jab in the arm, and even a hopeless underperformer can be employee of the month. Oh, you should know. Look around. Is any of this familiar? No, oh, God. The Rapture Consumer is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. What? Let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Uh, come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mom, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. An outrage! Only a single volunteer? Oh, come now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Come on down, all of you! Heavens. a fellow demonstrator and he's here to steal the show what will delta do now folks Without you, and you think you were so spliced you couldn't stand when we stuffed you into that getup. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a T, my boy. Hello again.
I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where... where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it. Prison, it seems, was a blessing. Brian is now dead by his own son's hand. But far more interesting is the program of compulsion bred into his child, coded W-Y-K. It was some manner of verbal trigger phrase, which the boy would obey as an order, unerringly. In a way, this sad thing, this half-man, had escaped the self. Highly intelligent, but devoid of so-called free will, with all its convenient blind spots. What if he had been instructed to uphold the common good? What if he were a volunteer? W-Y-K, would you kindly... I Make it stop! <laughs> was to be Sophia Lamb's greatest achievement, a living composite of all rapture's genius in the body of a single man, unfettered by self-interest. Now, I am nothing more to her than a failed experiment. My scores on tests of intelligence and moral reasoning are still noteworthy, but declining sharply. She has abandoned me, and I do not have long before psychosis takes me. As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyphil station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. Oh. 
I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Let me get the sound that side, right? Sophia believes the perfect human altruist is just a formula, waiting on us to solve for X. Intelligence and consciousness are not the same, she argued. Awareness of self naturally becomes obsession with it. So, if we could suppress my sense of self, but imbue me with the cognitive capacity to serve the common welfare, we could thereby generate the first utopian. And then, Sophia said, at long last, utopia would follow. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. And we needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds, a willing subject, that is to say, my... Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. Oh, I think. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it. Listen, son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down, find those plants he mentioned, and lure him back out. <clears throat> I will get the camera lady. I knew it. 
No, we can't have you running around the laboratories in your condition. Poor things. What a life. Marching around, playing daddy, until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then, if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor, on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why? It's always my house. No place for amateurs. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, 
This is where they bound us together, Father. Plain God, you were the only good thing that Rapture ever gave me. I see. She was not meant to have a father, Delta. She was to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her, bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room. <laughs>
Alpha series. The pair bond simply worked too well. That madwoman Tannenbaum bit the company a hand, turning some of the bonded sisters human again. Others were lost to splices. Either way, the trauma proved too much for the bonded protectors, resulting in unreasoning rage or coma. We can harness their suicidal aggression as foot soldiers, but no more, I'm afraid. Today I saw one kneeling near a gatherer's garden and crying. Why? Huh. That's really interesting. Sunshine and angels. See the light in the tummy? Whoa, you spawned here? Yep, the game crash. Okay, let's start it Mother over. has destroyed Dr. Alexander. She tried to splice him into some kind of living saint who would calculate the common good and adhere to it tirelessly. But now he's become something unspeakable. Mother's philosophy is just as corrupt as Ryan's. By her standards, it would be better to have the entire world equally miserable than to allow us to strive in our own behalf. I have to get out of here. That may cut to the part where I complete this, okay? Okay, I have finished it. Daddy, are you taking me home too? <sighs> I have no clue why it's crash. I have zero clues. Thank I you. have no idea. I don't the know. girls are whispering, Father. They've left you a present at the Gatherer's Garden. Take it. Thanks. Hey.
explosive fire with a flick of your wrist. Charge up to blast foes with a fountain of flame. Deep freeze enemies quickly. Charge up to shower foes with a devastating ice storm. Bonk. I don't even know why I have this mask. Have this mask. I don't even need it. Oh, what's that sound? Let me investigate. Investigate it. Hey. Heard it like many hours now, minute now. It's clearly nothing. What? Get here stuck in somewhere.
Hopefully we can kill him. him into some kind of living saint who would calculate the common good and adhere to it tirelessly but now he's become something unspeakable mother's philosophy is just as corrupt as Ryan's by her we put our eldest sister through a new regimen of physical and mental conditioning and suited her up with modified protector equipment of my design the younger ones have dubbed her a big sister. Sadly, this is a stopgap. Between rogue splicers and the aging of the girls, we'll run out of viable little sisters soon. After that, the surface may be our only source. What are you? Get away from here! Might as well call me an undertaker. All right, sport, time to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. So you can't hurt him from here. It was his will to die, Delta. To serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library. I agree, I agree, I agree. As you say, Peter. Can you see the life catchment system As online? You say. Notice to all employees, Subject Delta is hereby dismissed. Escort them from the premises! No, I don't want to. Please can resist! I suppose that 
now I know who my true friend is. Oh, come quickly, I... <laughs> Imbecile! Drop that at once. It's... <laughs> With this, this bribe, this penance, this sublime. God damn you, Data! <laughs> Perfect, son. You reeled him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. Sure. Damn. Super big, I must say. You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you would administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure. And I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps, after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. As you say, my buddy. <laughs> May you listen, may you listen, please, and thank you. This is the Oxyfill station, Chief. But don't be fooled by the facade. This is the way in. Use that key now. Composer, a dancer, 
an engineer. She truly will be the people's daughter. Anyways. Alright guys, I think this will be it for Berserk 2 Remastered this part. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are doing fine. Don't forget to take care of yourself. I'm sorry for the quality in this video. It's slightly bad, I would say. So, I'll meet you again in the next part of Berserk 2 Remastered. Put the phone. My name is Lofosi, and for today, I'm out.